I just got done checking in with my coach this morning. I had an early morning workout. We hit some shoulders at my team gym. I don't make it out there as often as I wish that I could now that I live out in Los Angeles. So it's quite a cruise to get there, but I try to get out there once a week when I'm close to a show just to check in, make sure that I'm on track. So right now I am about four weeks out, a little bit more than four weeks out from my very last show of the season, which will be the Iron Games here in LA. I am excited for it. I was starting to feel a little bit apprehensive about doing the show um, just for multiple different reasons. Number one being that this is my seventh show of the season, which is why it will be my last one. Um, I need an off season, not only for my body, but for my mind as well. Um, so I think that was probably my biggest apprehension about doing the show. Uh, also just have lots of different trips and stuff coming up. We have the YouTubers retreat coming up in New York and um, none of my friends are on prep anymore. And I know it's gonna be challenging to be around all the food and um, see everyone indulging. Uh, so, you know, I experienced, I guess, a little bit of a moment of weakness there. And um, I just kind of had to remind myself that it's all about the company that you're with. And that's what's going to determine my time in New York, not about the food. The food's always going to be there. Another thing, I read a entry in my devotional this morning about uh, finishing the race. And it was just kind of like a sign for me that you know, I need to finish. This is this is what I planned on doing. I set my sights on crushing it and making this my last show of the season and I need to finish this race regardless of how challenging it is. So I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish strong. I got four weeks. Four weeks is nothing. So after meeting with my coach this morning and kind of refocusing and remembering what my goals are and um, remembering that the light at the end of the tunnel is there and I will be able to thoroughly enjoy my off season very soon. My excitement and my fire, my flame is reignited. So four weeks out, here we go. This is the entry from my devotional that I talked about in the previous clip and I really just wanted to share it with you guys because it really spoke to me. Uh, it's from the Confident Woman devotional by Joyce Meyer and this entry goes, Paul said that we are each running a race and that we should run it to win. Winning requires preparation, training, sacrifice, and a will to press past opposition. It often requires failing many times, but continuing, always keeping on, despite any opposition we may encounter along the way. Cowards quit, but confidence and courage finish. When we make decisions that we know inside our heart aren't the best decisions, such as always choosing the easy way, it bothers our conscience. We may try to ignore the voice of conscience, but it whispers to us that we have not done our best. So when you are faced with decisions that plague or wear you down, be confident in your ability that you will see success. Say, it shall be done. Are you tempted to give up on something right now? Don't. Finishing your race will build your confidence. You will trust yourself more, and that is important. Winners don't always take first place, but they must finish the race. I just got to Skin Perfect. This is the place where if you watched my skincare video a couple of days ago where I get all of my facials at and today I am getting a Hydra facial. Now I promised in my skincare video that I would vlog the whole entire treatment process for you guys so that is about to go down and I will catch you guys inside. Spectrum 
on it. It was so cute. Oh, thanks. So we are inside the treatment room about to get started. She's going to wash my face first, and then we'll take you guys all along through the entire treatment. Oh, here I am. <laughs> wow. So we are starting with the cleanse, correct? Yes, yes. we're going to cleanse your skin here. Okay, and Jocelyn's going to take over so that I'm not like awkwardly holding the camera <laughs> the whole time. Okay, first step, we're going to start with cleansing and exfoliating. This is going to have the nice rejuvenating serum. It has glucosamine, so it's also anti-aging here. Through the wastelands, through the highways, to my shadow, through the sun rays. So we're going to go into the next step. This will be the acid peel. So the acid peel is going to be a 7.5 glycolic and then 2 point salicylic. It's basically going to help improve your texture and really brighten up your skin. And it'll also help with any impurities today. Okay, so now we're going to do our vortex extraction, which is um, the cleaning of the pores. So we're going to go ahead and uh, bump the vacuum up, and this will pick up um, any blackheads, suck up any congested areas which is a really good deep cleanse. The way melodies we haven't played. No, I don't want no red. Ready? So now we're going into our very last step which is going to be our Antinox Plus. So this is where we're going to feed her skin with a ton of healthy ingredients. So we'll have hyaluronic acid, peptides, antioxidants, and amino acids as well. Want to saturate your skin here. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways. And on and on we'll go. In case y'all needed a reminder, you look gorgeous. So Amanda and I are getting ready to head to the dentist. Yay! Um, <laughs> most people I think dread the dentist, but I actually really like going to the dentist. I don't know, <laughs> I'm one of those weirdos. I'm one of those that don't really like it, but I'm just gonna learn to enjoy it. I really like it, I don't know why. Hopefully they let us choose our flavor for the teeth cleaning. <laughs> um, I prefer bubble gum. <laughs> Moment. I think it's You're because ready? I spent so many years in braces. I take my dental hygiene like incredibly serious and I'm like obsessed with teeth. So <laughs> I'm like also I love I'm Karen Nicole and I love teeth. <laughs> I'm also one of those weirdos that carries bottle. floss in my purse and I floss after every meal. <laughs> I am That's good. Person. My dentist likes me. <laughs> we are headed to the dentist together. Roomies that clean their teeth together stay together. Stay together. <laughs> um, teeth cleaning and teeth whitening. Yay. I just got done with my teeth whitening and I literally have never seen my teeth this white. Oh my gosh. Look at this. <laughs> Insane. I'm so happy. Ah. Highly, highly, highly recommend this. Holy crap. I'm just gonna walk around like this all day long. 